Hi guys, Aviation JFK here, back here with another video. Today we're going to be doing a different video on the channel. It's another how-to video, um, but I'm going to be showing you guys how and how I make my different GSC and jet bridges for my model airport. Um, and recommendations and tips that I've learned from this process. So without further ado, let's just dive straight in. So as all of you may know, Gemini Jets makes their own GSE, but it is really expensive. And that is that is one of the main reasons why I avoid the Gemini Jets GSE. Because you, you don't really get a lot a lot for your money, I feel like. Although it's detailed. Um, I what I do is I 3D print my GSE, so I'll just show you real quick. This is like these are the buses that I use, and like I use them as catering trucks as well, but they look completely fine, um, in my opinion. Someone else may have a different opinion, and in the same way, my G my my jet bridges are like card cutouts, which I found online. All the links, if, if you want the links to the files for the 3D printed things, um, I'll post them in the description. And the website where I got the files for this, for these jet bridges off, I'll post the link to those as well. Um, but yeah, it's instead of buying and wasting 20 bucks on, on um, like Gemini Jets GSC, I decided to get a 3D printer which which you may think was really expensive, but for me, my one was about 180 bucks, which is pretty cheap. And if you think about it, the amount of GSC you're gonna need if you're building a big airport, my airport's not that big, but if you are gonna build a big airport, buying loads of Gemini Jets GSC is gonna amount to about 100 to 200 bucks, I would say. And I would much rather spend that money on models, um, purely because that's what most of you guys come to my channel for, to see my model airplanes. Um, now, Gemini Jets GSC is nice, but like I just feel like it's a little bit excessive. And some people may disagree with me. Um, and I just think these, like, these little GSC things that I've made look completely fine. Um, but yeah, if you're interested, the 3D printer that I use is the Creality Ender 3. Um, and this is a 3D printer that prints in layers. It's called an FDM 3D printer. It basically prints out in layers. Um, but yeah, if you drop a comment if you want, if you want me to do a more in-depth 3D printing video, then I can show you how to print like your your um, terminal buildings and things. So yeah, but you can also the second type you can do is like cardboard and paper cutouts. Like some of my GSC is made from paper. Now you have to be very, very, you have to have a very steady hand to cut these things out. Um, and most of them come in like sheets like this, as you can see. And there's instructions online how to make them. Um, <clears throat> but that's for like the people, it's like the only thing that I've not made on my model airport are my planes. Um, and everything else I've made myself. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, so 3D printing I think is just a really good alternative um, for making accessories for a model airport because you just save a ton of money in the long term, in the long run. <clears throat> you do sacrifice a little bit of detail, but I think it personally I think it's worth it um, because the more bland my GSE is, the more attention it brings to my my models in my opinion. Um, which is which is good um, but yeah like as I said everything you just have to you just have to really have the time to do it and if you if you're really willing to save money and put time into your into your model airport then I think the best way to do it is by making cardboard GSE um, and jet bridges and these are like fully functional as well like they move and everything they come out and go in. Um, but yeah, they do take a bit of time to make. That's why I only have four of them and I just move them around during the airport updates. 
Um, but yeah. So this right here is a 3D printer that I use. It's the Creality Ender 3. It's a pretty budget printer and it does some really nice prints. Um, and I just feel like this was a really, this is probably one of the best decisions I've made towards my model airport. Because not alone can I use this for like little GSC parts, but I can also use it to print any other thing that I want. Um, so yeah, I've printed many different things, but my airport is like, would be really bland without GSC. And I just don't think it's necessary to spend 200 bucks on, on airport GSC from Gemini Jets. Although I do give it to them, it's very detailed. I just don't think you need that much detail in your in your GSC. Um, so yeah, that's why I chose to go with the three D printed route, three D printed side of things. Um, and if you're really interested, there's some like really intricate prints you can do, like this vase, for example. It's a very, very, very intricate print. So the detail is like really good. And this was all done on a $180 printer. Um, and 3D printing is getting really cheap nowadays. So everyone's been saying that it's, it's very expensive, but in my opinion, well, not in my opinion, it is very cheap now. Um, and you can do a lot with a $200 3D printer. Um, and yeah, I'm, I'm planning on making other accessories for my airport such as like ILS boxes, which are gonna be going like here. And then I can just draw on them with like paint pens and stuff and it makes it look still realistic. Um, so yeah, I hope this video kind of brought awareness to how you can, like the various different ways of making airport accessories. Because we, we all know that Gemini Jets sells their good products, but they are very expensive and I'm sure I'm not the only one that has almost no money to spend on a model airport. Um, and I, I'm gonna say that a 3D printer is a big purchase, but like, it's just a very good, it's a very good purchase for the long run. So I'm, at, I'm thinking about making another 3D printing video at some point where I go in more depth as to how I can, how you get these files um, and how you can design your own things so that you can like make your own terminals. Um, so yeah, I hope, I hope you found this video helpful. Um, please consider subscribing because we are almost at 150 subscribers right now. We're doing so well. Um, and I'm trying to get to 200 by the end of April. So that would be really good if we could reach that. It's been Aviation JFK signing off.